Welcome to our YouTube channel. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. Our aim at Sneaky Cat Private Investigations and Process Serving is to take you on a voyage of uncovering crimes that will leave you stunned. I'm Michaela, and today we will be talking about five homicide private investigators who got murdered while conducting serial killer investigations. Do not touch the dial and keep on watching. Don't forget that, for top-notch private investigation services in Oklahoma, which you cannot get elsewhere, call 405 to 407, 2891, and you will not regret it. Before we go into details, remember to like, share, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and hit the bell for subsequent updates. The role of homicide private investigators in apprehending murderers getting justice for their families, and helping to eradicate crimes comes with a lot of cost and risk. Sometimes it involves their life because their work is very dangerous. In the course of conducting serial killer investigations, several homicide private investigators have been murdered. But we will be talking about the risks associated with this profession, and just five of them who were murdered today. In the course of investigating serial killers, there have been several private detectives who died. Some have been reported, while others have not. An investigator was murdered by a serial killer who had murdered three women who were walking home late in the evening. When the detective got close to uncovering his pattern and getting evidence, he was also murdered. In another city, a homicide private detective got murdered because he was on the hunt for John Norman a serial killer who escaped prison. Private Detective Gary was murdered by a serial killer who wanted to avoid being caught at a crime scene. Based on the ego of a serial killer, investigator Hayden was murdered in cold blood on his way home from interviewing a potential testifier in a serial killer case. Lastly, a serial killer got fixated on a detective because he saw him as a threat to their freedom. So, he murdered the detective. One of the risks attached to being a homicide private investigator is that the likelihood of you dying is high, especially when you are investigating serial killers. Serial killers oftentimes kill for fun. They lack emotion and have no issue with killing someone. So when they figure out that you are investigating them as a homicide private detective, they may target you. Should this fear cripple you from doing your job? No. You just have to be aware of the risks that come with it and try to keep yourself and your family safe. One of the rigors of being a private detective is that it can be draining investigating a serial killer. It is also traumatic and tasking. The graphic crime scenes, victim statements, and evidence that you have to look at continuously to get a breakthrough in the case can be too much. For people who cannot cope, they may develop PTSD, anxiety, and depression. Some even become emotionally attached to the case and have nightmares concerning the crime scenes and victims. Homicide private investigators must navigate legal and ethical boundaries when investigating serial killers. Crossing these boundaries can result in legal consequences, damage to your reputation, and loss of license. The reason is that there are times when the law takes too long in dealing with these serial killers, or there is insufficient evidence to ensure that they pay for their crimes. This can lead to some detectives wanting to take matters into their own hands, which can be dangerous. Serial killers often have a fixation on their victims and may become fixated on the homicide private investigator as well. It can lead to them harassing, stalking, and even bring violent towards the investigator, which means as homicide private investigator working on serial killer cases, you have to stay alert and protected at all times and probably strapped too. You can get burned out and obsessed when investigating serial killers if you are not careful. Some homicide private investigators make the mistake of neglecting their personal lives, relationships, and physical health while pursuing the case, which can lead to sickness and other long-term consequences. 
So you have to be careful. These instances show the various times these brave homicide private investigators have died in the course of doing their job. Their lives are constantly being threatened while they carry out investigations and seek justice. While we can only hope that they stay safe, it is pertinent that as citizens of our country, we join hands with them to eradicate crime from our society and at the same time acknowledge the role they play in our society. At Sneaky Cat Private Investigations and Process Serving, we know you want justice and we can help you obtain it. To understand our services and get the best private detectives who will carry out private investigations for you, visit us at www.privateinvestigatorok.com or Michaela at ochthlegal.com. Like, share, and subscribe for more informative content. I love you for watching this far. Please remember to like, share, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and hit the bell for subsequent updates.